Welcome to another edition of Digital Marketing 101. I'm Solomon Timothy. Today's question is how do I create an effective lead nurturing campaign? This is what I do every single day. Answer questions to your most common problems, right? Marketing is very sophisticated, very complicated, but at the end of the day, I wanna make it super simple for you so you can execute, get more results for your investment. Thank you so much. Let's get started. First, I wanna say thank God for automation because there used to be a time where I was manually writing emails to people at different stages of the funnel, right? Getting people in the door and maybe having a sales conversation, sending every follow-up email by hand and then putting reminders to follow up in a month, a week and finally work on closing that deal and onboarding the customer. This used to be manual. Thank God for marketing automation. I don't have to do that this whole entire process is fully optimized and fully automated. So once a lead gets into the website, in fact, once somebody gets to our website, you can completely optimize in a way that they fill out a form that leads to further automation and then they qualify themselves and literally go through this entire stage from being a cold traffic, guys, cold traffic, to a lead to a customer, a paying customer and if you don't have that figured out yet guess what this is the day this is the month this is the year to work on that send me an email i'll walk you through what you need to get started now this video is not about that this video is how do you build an effective lead nurturing strategy for your business i want you to know i make a lot of content about marketing and sales. One of the biggest problems that people have is they spend a lot of money driving traffic and they generate leads. But the problem is those leads, of course, go into your CRM system, but they fall right out. The faster they come, they leave. Why? Because there just isn't anything set to automate the nurturing. And so I've created a couple things that you can do and I want you to consider this for your organization, start working on it. Because what I don't want for your business is to lose them, I want you to trap them in, all right? I wanna make sure those leads that are coming in, at the end of the day, they're gonna close. Not only that, they're gonna stay with you and they're going to become essentially a company that's going to share the information, right? And tell other people about it, right? That's what I call somebody who becomes a brand advocate. So here's what I came up with for you to first and foremost create the best in class lead nurturing strategy for your business. Number one, why don't you write down your goals? What exactly do you want to happen? How many leads do you want to generate? What do you want them to do next? Do you want them to go to a demo? Do you want a free trial? Do you want them to watch a webinar? What is the next step, right? Do you want to give them a case study? Do you want a white paper guide? I mean, there's millions of things that you could do to drive quality leads, to actually drive quality outcomes at the end of the day. Those outcomes could be anything you choose, right? People are doing lead nurturing for getting partners. It's not even the leads. There's obviously getting leads and then maybe it's about getting more affiliates. Anything can be done once you know exactly what are you trying to do. And if it's all of the about, great. It's all of the about, you might need three different tracks. Number two, how are you gonna score these contacts that are coming in? Obviously. You're gonna get boatloads of people filling out the form, but how do you know they're any good? How are you gonna measure that they're one out of 10 or nine out of 10, right? So mentally, you're gonna to have to have some goals so that you can start scoring them. Number three, segment them. Obviously, if you're like me, we have different personas. We have this type of persona, VP, a CEO, maybe a sales rep. I even have a persona for somebody who's just looking for more information. It could be an intern, somebody who's a very low level person Hey, just try and do some research. Fantastic. They certainly will fill out the form to get the guides and downloads and everything, but you want to make sure that those people are nurtured as well. So having those contacts segmented will enable you to create these personas. And finally, my most, most, most highly, highly recommended thing is to create personalized content. A CEO thinks very differently than the VP than the marketing manager, than somebody who's in sales, right? The VP of sales or a sales rep. So think about that. A sales rep has a very distinct job. They know what the goal is. They're asked to close X number of leads or business or whatever it is, close this much contract. That's a sales rep, VP of sales leading the department. The CMO is thinking about how do I make sure our messaging is on point? How do we make sure that by the end of the quarter, we're gonna move these big ginormous rocks for our company? That's what a CMO is doing. Well, the CEO is saying, hey, how do I make sure the vision 
and the mission of our company is on point. How do we make sure our customers are happy and we're going to beat those competition, right? At the end of the day, see is like, what am I gonna do so that my organization, my empire, my legacy, whatever it is, is going to grow at the end of the day. So different people want to be told different things, different stories, different examples, different items on their agenda. It's not the same as a sales rep, right? It's not the same as a VP of sales. A VP of marketing has complete different goals for their job than a VP of sales. So personalizing custom content is gonna be one of the hardest things that you're gonna have to do. But guess what? That is one way that you're gonna prevent this. Because the CEO reads it, they're like, yeah, this is not exactly what I'm looking for. This is way too technical, too much techno babble. I don't even understand half of this stuff. I'm not a technical person. And unsubscribe. Would you agree? But if you say, hey, what if I can generate this for your business and what if you can grow by this percent and what if you didn't have to have some sort of training process for your people it's going to be this way we're going to do it for you automation ai i don't know big data whatever it is that you provide making it simple for the ceo to know this is the outcome this is the investment he might still want to be inside that nurturing sequence and at the same time if you're talking to a vp of sales about goals and numbers and productivity of their reps he's going to be very excited if you talk to the team about creative and testing and split testing, right? And efficiency and things like that, user experience. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be all over that stuff. You're not gonna get this from your funnel. And then let's talk about it. Then the actual doing of the campaigns, of course, gotta set them up, put the titles, the H1s and the content, put an image for the video and click through to a landing page. There's a lot of work that goes into this and figuring out what order are we going to send this? What are the triggers? What page? What happens? Of course, the more complicated the tools that you use, the longer it takes to actually implement lead nurturing campaign. And my last two, which again, it should happen for everything that you do in marketing, is the lead nurturing doing what it's supposed to do? Are we getting the results that we want? If at the end of the day, our goal is to close $1 million, let's just say $1 million a month, is it doing that? If no, then I have a lot of room to work on. Maybe I am losing people in my funnel. Maybe I am generating unqualified traffic, which means I'm generating unqualified leads and all of this can be reworked. And finally, testing and optimizing. If it's not doing that, when you're measuring it, obviously you wanna work on improving that. And obviously the best thing that you can do is say, okay, fine, if it's not generating $1 million, what is it doing? Is it doing 25%? Is it 30%? Where is that gap? so we can work on improving that. If you haven't started doing lead nurturing for your organization, today is the day to start strategizing, planning, implementing, figuring out a tool for you and do yourself a favor. Don't start with a tool and then throw it away and start over with a different tool because these people, as I said, they're going to get confused and lost. And depending on the company uh, that you end up choosing, the emails may not even get into their inbox. So you want to work with something that's quality. And if you need help, if you need suggestions, reach out to one of our consultants. We have over a hundred of them here that can walk you through exactly how to do this and how to measure it and how do you create personalized content at scale and how do you actually, what are some best practices for lead scoring? There's so much that goes into it. Lead nurturing is not just about sending some drip emails to anybody that fills out the form and then hoping that somehow you're gonna generate revenue at the end of the day. That is not what it is. You wanna make sure that it's never done. In fact, you should be adding to it because if they get to the last step of a workflow, if you want to continue nurturing a future lead, you want to go back and add a couple more pieces of action or move them around, maybe update the content. If your organization has some new product lines, you want to make sure you give as many resources and links to different areas of our website. It has to be optimized. So hopefully these eight steps that I've given you, is going to give you a guide towards building a better lead nurturing system for your organization, right? This is just a one-on-one -on -one video. I don't wanna overwhelm you here, but at the end of the day, it is sophisticated. Depending on what your marketing stack looks like and what your goals are and how aggressively you wanna go and market, there's a lot of hacks that you can do to get to the results that you're looking for. And most organizations need more support in different areas to generate the revenue. It's a teamwork, sales, marketing, leadership. Everybody has to be involved to get to the goals that you're looking for. All right, so if you need more support, 
reach out to one of our consultants on any of these questions that I just covered here. If you like this video, can you do me a favor? Click that like button, consider subscribing, leave me a comment, tell me where you're struggling in your lead nurturing campaigns, where are you struggling in even picking the right software for your niche, all right? So if you need any more support, reach out to us and I will see you next time.